Happy New Year, everybody. So I was coming into work this, this morning and listening to one of the local radio stations, and they are, of course, reflecting on the fact that this is the second day of 2024, and so they were asking listeners to their show, what's next for them in this new year? What's next? And I thought, found that to be uh, a refreshing alternative to a New Year's resolution. New Year's resolutions have a lot of baggage that come with them. But simply asking their listeners, well, what's next? What are you looking forward to in 2024? Was an interesting way of getting their listeners to open up about what they think about this new year ahead. So I guess I pose that same question to you. In 2024, what's next for you? What's coming? What are you looking forward to? As we begin a new year, we put to bed an old year, an old year that was filled with blessings, of course, some hardships, maybe, combination of the, of the two. But as the calendar turns to the new year, we can safely and maybe intentionally put to bed 2023 and truly look ahead. And I hope in your heart that that brings you hope for the year ahead. It does me. As we move ahead in this new year with hope, I'm encouraged and always inspired by verse 11 from the 29th chapter of Jeremiah in the Old Testament, where God says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope and a future. God indeed does have plans to give us hope and a future. May that accompany you especially during these early days of this new year, when things are starting new, rest assured that God is with you and giving you hope and has a plan for you as these new weeks and months of a new year unfold. We are back to our normal worship schedule starting this coming Sunday at 9 for our casual service and at 11 for our traditional service here in the sanctuary. I hope you'll make plans to be here in this new year and worship with your church family. I'll be here, and I'll see you then.